It's February 22nd, 2021. I'm Todd Dunn, and today I'm going to show you the new computer I bought for my wife. So let's take a look at it. So why did I buy my wife a new computer? Well, it comes down to the system she was using. She had uh, an old laptop, and by old I mean I think I bought it in 2010, and uh, it was running Windows 7 on an Intel dual-core processor that was clocked at about 1.2 gigahertz. And the, my wife mostly uses the computer to uh, read the news and uh, do other things online. She has the computer set up on a corner of the kitchen table, which is where she likes to sit when she's using it. And in addition to the computer being kind of slow and uh, crashing a lot when she looked at stuff online, uh, which caused a great deal of aggravation for her and for me, because every time it crashed, I had to come over and fix it for her, that she felt that that particular laptop, which had a 17-inch screen, took up too much space on the table. And she wanted something smaller but at the same time, she didn't want a smaller screen. So uh, I ended up finally deciding just to buy her a new computer that uh, would provide her with a reliable, uh, crash-free experience on the internet and would take up a bit less space on the table. So what did I get her? Well, let's take a look at it. Okay, what did I get her? Well, I bought her a Raspberry Pi 400. This gets her away from Windows, which she did not like, since it is running the Debian-based uh, Raspberry Pi operating system. It's also compact. This is basically a Raspberry Pi 4 in a keyboard. Although they've made some changes, the motherboard is different and uh, much bigger and the components are more spread out and pretty much the entire inside of that keyboard contains a large piece of aluminum that is a heat sink for the computer so that they could clock it at 1.8 gigahertz rather than the normal 1.5 gigahertz for a standalone raspberry pi but uh, the computer and its ram are inside the keyboard and it is connected to a mouse by USB, a 19-inch screen, which is even a little bigger than what she had, and she does like the bigger screen. Uh, and that happens to be uh, a 19-inch television that we just had lying around the house. It's connected to the HDMI output of the Raspberry Pi 400. And because I thought that she might be concerned about the... Uh, boot speed and operating speed of the computer running off a micro SD card, I put the operating system on this Kingston 240 gigabyte solid state drive, and it is the boot drive for the Raspberry Pi. So this is both a faster system than what she had, and because it doesn't have the overhead of Windows, uh, is a much leaner system, and being uh, brand new, uh, works very well for uh, what she wants to use it for. Plus, the entire computer system here, the mouse, the keyboard, the power supply, cost $100. I did spend an additional $37 for the solid state drive. So $137 and we already had the monitor. And now my wife has a new PC to use to uh, browse the internet. And so far, she's had it for about a week, so far she quite likes it. She very much prefers it over the Windows system that she had, and the system has not crashed even once <laughs> since she got it. The only issue she's had is uh, typing in passwords, she, for some reason, has a tendency to hit the caps lock key. And that kind of messes up uh, passwords when you put them in. So, that's it. 
my wife's new desktop computer, a Raspberry Pi 400. And I have to say, I'm quite impressed with how well it works. Plus, there's another positive. This system, even with the monitor, uses about half the power that the old laptop did. The only thing that it doesn't have that she would like is a DVD player. But I can get a uh, DVD player that'll connect to one of the USB ports on this system. So that's easy to solve and it will only cost about another $25. So there we go. My wife's Raspberry Pi 400 desktop computer. And she seems happy with it, which is the most important part. And since it isn't crashing anymore, I no longer have to come over and figure out what went wrong. So that's it. A nice little present to make my wife happy. A new uh, computer. And uh, so far, it's making her very happy because she no longer has to worry about crashes and everything that she wants to look at works properly. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click that notification bell.